We've been out to the field and we've done our excavation method for bulk density and we've brought the soil that we excavated back to the lab. So Simon, what are we going to do with it now? So now we need to separate the coarse material from the fines. And you know, because we collect everything by the excavation method, like these stones, and which are not our focus, because our focus is only on the particles smaller or finer than two millimeters. So we need to separate them. Okay, so we don't need all these big things. No. How are we going to get rid of them? So um, if your uh, sample is dry, and so every particle just maybe fall apart, apart easily, and you don't need to wait, you just uh, sieve through uh, a mesh. And if the soil is wet, and then you the better just let it air dry for several hours. And when it's uh, dry, and you can do the separation. Mm -hmm. So we'll let it dry for a little bit, just so that it's easier to sieve. And what sort of sieve are we going to use? Well, that's a good question. So I'll show you this sieve. Mm -hmm. So you, you read the it's, it's number... It's a 2 millimeter one. Yeah, that's number 10, 2 millimeter sieve. As a mesh size like this. So now we just need to remove the sample from this paper to the sea. So I guess we just yeah, carefully. pour the whole sample right into the top. Yeah, and slowly, carefully, because it's dry, so you don't want to make a dust. So slowly, gently. We want to keep the yeah. whole sample that we took out of the yeah. hole. I give it a little bit of temp, so everything just uh, fall into the seal. Okay. Now it's clean. Yeah. All the dust and all that fine yeah. stuff in there. And it seems that uh, this seal is big enough to hold the, all the samples. So we just uh, remove, remove the sample once, and then cover with the lid, and then shake. So shake gently. And you might give some like a gentle tap on the side, so make it easier to seal through. Now let's double check. Okay, so we'll take a peek and see how much yes, went through. Yes, at the bottom you see just a little bit, and which means we need to continue. So anything smaller than two millimeters is going through, and that's what we're going to use for the rest of the measurement. Right? Yeah, and now let's just double check at the top to see. Okay, so you can see there are still some fine materials staying on the top, right? Mm -hmm. so like this, definitely finer than two millimeters. So you need to just to continue the action again. So we'll just keep shaking until yeah. there's no more fine material yeah. on the top. Yeah. And another way, if it, like, you think it's too much, just uh, within uh, once, uh, you, you remove everything once, you just uh, uh, cut it into half, so uh, remove the first half into the sieve, add, add sieve through, and then you see the other half. Mm -hmm. Okay, seems almost ready, but uh, you see, and because I opened it uh, a little bit too fast, and, uh, and I, I saw some dust just flying out. Okay, so we're really treating it like a little, yeah. very gently. <laughs> yeah, you have to treat it very carefully. Okay, tingling, tingling. Listen, so we are almost done. Okay, so yeah. it sounds like all the fines have gone through. Been shaking for a while. Let's have a look. So now, let's see the coarse material here, and the finers are here. So we've got all our large rocks still on the top, and everything we care about less than two millimeters has gone through to this bottom sieve. And now we collect the coarse material first. So we had all the coarse stones on top. What if there looks like there's some chunks that just didn't break down because they're really stuck together? Is there a way, how should we break those apart? Good question. So that's why we have the motor here. That will help us quite a lot 
if you have an aggregate quite strong and uh, can't break apart by this mechanical sh shaking. So you use this motor and grind them to crush. This one right here, so we yeah. can just crush yeah. it a little bit. Yes. Okay, that sounds easy. Yeah. So now let's get the weight of the coarse material. And this uh, tin already been teared. So as you record the number, and next we collect this fine material. Gently pour that out, all out, trying to minimize the dust. Yeah. Okay, now, so I'm going to put this uh, fine material with tin in the oven and let it stay there for 18 to 24 hours and at 105 degrees Celsius. Okay, so all the fines are going into the oven to dry overnight for a bit longer and that will give us a value for a constant weight. And Simon, so I guess we have the coarse fragments, which gives us the volume that was taking up. We'll have the constant weight, and we have the total volume of the hole from the field. Yes. Is that all we need to calculate bulk density? Exactly. Okay. That's all. Yeah. Then we're done. Yeah. Good job, Trudy. <laughs>